Today we're going to look at the updates to Things 3 and version 3.11 for your iPhone and your iPad. There are some Mac changes, which I'm not even going to address because I don't, I barely use it on the Mac. So let's start with our phone. And our phone, the biggest update that's specific to the phone is changing the way that you can access the quick find feature. So on your uh, iPad, you can hit Command F and you'll get Quick Find, but you don't have, often generally don't have a keyboard attached to your phone. So what you can see right here is I've got a video ideas project um, up and it's just got a lot of things in it. And so that's not great. Um, but what we can do now is we can tap the project at the top and hit Quick Find. And you can see already in here, I've done this earlier, but you can see video ideas is one of them. And then I could search for anything I want. I could search for another project. So let's look up, um, what else do I have? Stay, I know I got a Stay Go Hub project. And so I'm there, that's good. The other thing that you can do now that I don't think you could do before, but you can do now is if I just pull down, I also will get Quick Find um, when I'm at the top of a list. That is also excellent. And you can see here, we'll talk about this a little bit in the iPad too. We also have the three, three, but it's actually four. Four most recent things that I have looked for on my phone uh, are right there. So those will show up and they're device specific. So on my iPad, the iPad things will show up. On my phone, my phone things will show up. Now let's kick it over to the iPad and see what we're doing there. Now all these things that are available on your iPad are actually available on your phone as well. We're just gonna do it on the iPad because then we can see the keyboard. One of the best things that I actually love is if I just start typing anywhere, I can actually search. This is already, this was already in there, but I can actually search anything. So I know there's a Stego. We'll search for that as well. And there's my wife texting me. So you can see Stego Hub. I've got that right there. And also staying productive with your iPad is in my video ideas. So typing anywhere on your iPad when you're not like editing um, something already, editing a task or editing anything like that, you can already get into the quick find. But what we have in Quick Find, both on your iPhone and on your uh, iPad, and I think this is already in your Mac, but don't quote me on that one, is that we can start doing some new search fields. And some of them are something like tomorrow. So what's due tomorrow? This is a new thing, right? And I gotta get back to Bo Bojan. I've never actually said his name out loud. I gotta pitch some more stuff. I can search for things with deadlines is another new one. I can search for things that are repeating tasks. Another new one, I can search for stuff that is logged. So all my logged projects is another new item. So you can see here's all the logged projects I have. And I could also search for all projects. Those all come up now in the quick find and they're all new things. They're not available in the sidebar. It'd be lovely if we could customize the sidebar and start to see some of these things come through. The other thing we can also do, let's just go into here. This is my maker. So when I wanna build stuff, um, let's add, uh, we have a heading again. So I don't actually use headings very often, clearly. So let's resolve that. And then if I hit command, just hold the command key, it'll tell me how to add a new heading. So new heading is shift command N. So let's go shift command N and let's go demo heading. Perfect. So now if I go back to my inbox, we'll say, and then I started searching demo. So now I can go straight into my headings as well. That's another new thing for the quick find feature where we can go straight into our headings. And then if we use, there we go, I'm right in my heading. Then again, if we use Command F, you can see here that I've got the things I've recently been in, my ideas, my inbox, my projects, and my logged projects. Now let's test one thing here. Let's go back to my inbox. And then if we hit Command F, so your headings don't appear to show up in the new quick find feature here. Um, uh, I don't know if that's unfortunate or not. I said, I don't really use headings, so it doesn't make a difference to me because I don't really use headings. One of the final updates that really makes a difference to me is the larger sidebar on the I iPad. It's just a better use of the screen real estate. I like that. So I'm happy for this. That's excellent. You can also, I'll bring up my mouse here. You can also grab this little handle here and you could do this before and hide it and bring it back. And I'm sure there's a keyboard command for that because the they are amazing at doing stuff like this. Hide sidebar is command whatever slash that is. So command backslash, command forward slash, command forward slash also hides your sidebar. Again, I assume that was a probably already in there because they have amazing killer keyboard shortcuts. But that's it. That's what's new in things 311 for iPadOS. Enjoy.